For the month of African History Month, the Emancipation Support Committee has been hosting a number of activities and uh, the education, youth education officer, Kadisha Dyer is on set, no stranger to the program, uh, to tell us more about what's happening and to also introduce some of the youngest members of the Spoken Word. They're on set here with us as well as their mom. Uh, Kadisha, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having mm. us again. And uh, mom here, Salan Frank, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And we're going to introduce the children in a bit. Mm -hmm. But I want to start with you. Tell us about the activities that you guys have been having. Okay. Um, so November in Trinidad and Tobago is African History Month. Mm -hmm. um, it was started in 1988-89 with Dr. Paul and to Springer, Dr. Mm -hmm. Asha Camborn, and Miss Maureen Warner Lewis. Right. And uh, the African History Quiz Competition and the National Spoken Word Competition started in 2009 because we realized that the African history and culture was not being passed on to the children. And outside of the school term as well, because it happens when school closes, when right. they come back in September, they focus more on Independence Day than Emancipation Day. Right. And so this, uh, we have been doing this for a number of years. Um, and it's a really fun activity for the children yeah. as well as the parents because they get involved, especially for the spoken word aspect. Yeah. Everyone gets involved in it. It's about bragging rights, but also <laughs> about bonding and fa forming a family network. So, Hazelan, you are one of the moms with a lot of bragging rights <laughs> <laughs> because this is not the first year that you have your children involved. Tell us about your Hello. experience. Well, this is actually the third year that yeah. we have been involved. Um, the first year they were support, well, the older one was, was a support to a former student. Mm -hmm. And um, she eventually took part herself. So now I have the both of them. It has been a wonderful journey. Mm -hmm. And as she said, it is truly a family bonding experience. How and so? Well, it's not only with our family. From the minute we enter this competition, the warmness we got from the committee itself I felt at home. Yeah. You know, so it, it, it's a really warm and welcome, welcoming feeling. Also for the children, the way they speak to them, the way they handle them, it really calmed their nerves. Right. And in terms of my family, my entire family is involved. <laughs> Daddy bring boxes to make props. Grandpa makes the costume. Grandma gave her input. Great grand have to call all her wow. friends to tell <laughs> them about her grandchildren. Yes, yes. So it, it really... Everyone works together. That's wonderful. Well, let me have a chat with the children now. Alyssa Frank and Z Zaria Frank. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Good morning. And how old are you? Eight. You're I'm eight. ten. And you're ten. And you guys are the youngest. I'm told you're the youngest participants in the spoken word. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Yeah. Are you guys the winners? No. You don't know as yet? <laughs> you're supposed to say, yes, we don't know, but we win already. <laughs> so what's the experience been like for you so far? Um, so far, it was very fun. Mm -hmm. Now that I am uh, going to do SEA, yeah. it has been very challenging for me because I have to like learn my work at the same time. And like today, yes, I have to do my first practice test. Uh -huh. And uh, after this, we going to I, I'm going to go to school and do my practice test. Do practice test. What about you? You're Zaria, right? Yeah. What about you now? Because you are the youngest <laughs> at eight. Yes. What is it like? What was it like being part of the competition? It was fun. Mm -hmm. I liked it. And How much the go ahead. The most thing I like about it. Yes. That is. It's not about winning, right? Right. It's about you going to have fun. You're going to have fun. Yeah. Yes, I like that spirit. I like that spirit. So how many years have you guys been participating in the activities? For me, mm -hmm. it was three. Three years. Two. And for Zaria, it was two. Two. So this is your second year? Yes. Yeah? Were you nervous at all? Yes. You were? Yeah. You don't look nervous. You don't look like the type who gets nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so you get nervous before going on stage. Yes. But once you're on stage, are you nervous? No. No, it goes all the way. Yes. Yeah. Do you write your own poems or, um, or pieces? Once I wrote my own, mm -hmm. and that was for a different competition, mm -hmm. but for the emancipation, I did 
the journey now starts. I did right. a story as well, singing turtle. Right. And this year, I was doing Mother Earth Crying. Wow. And what about you? I did Black is Beautiful, and now I am doing Back to Basic. Back to Basic. And you must have learned a lot with regard to African History Month by yes. participating in the competitions. Tell me some of the things that you would have learned. Some of the things I might have learned, the pieces that I chose was really about society now, not really about back then. Mm -hmm. Like for example, the piece I'm doing now, it is about like global warming mm -hmm. and like stuff that is going on now, like the earth could be dying and if we don't stop doing like showing stuff on the ground and stuff, mm -hmm. the earth will disappear. We'll have no more earth to care for, no more earth to love, no more earth to live on. All right. And what about you? I don't really know. <laughs> you learned a lot of stuff, just a lot of information, right? So, you know, TTT will be showing the semifinals this weekend, this Sunday. Yes. And I think you all are part of that. Yes? Um, yes. Yes, you are. All right, and uh, you you both attend, is that Arima Centenary yes. Government Primary School? Yes. yes. Yeah, so you are in Standard 5 because you said you're doing SC. Yeah. And what about you? Standard 2. Standard 2. Well, you're both brave little girls, and I'm very proud. I could get a high five here. I think I could reach across and get one from you. Ah, oh, that was a, that was a hard five. That was a high <laughs> hit five. <laughs> very strong. Wonderful, yes. Also, I would mm -hmm. like to say good morning uh -huh. to my teacher, Miss Carl Whiteman. Right. Um, Miss Merrick, yes, my standard four teacher, uh -huh. all my grandparents, Papa Reggie, <laughs> Papa Frank, <laughs> Mama Ann, Mama Cynthia. Oh my word! Uh -huh. <laughs> and what about grand grandparents? Great grandparents. I heard Mommy talking Mama about Cynthia. great Mama yes. Cynthia. Mama um, Cynthia. Good morning, Mama and Papas. Good morning, and keep up doing the great work that you're doing with these two girls here this morning. Beautiful young ladies, and uh, we're rooting for you. Okay, yes. all the way to the top. Oh, and yes. I also like to give a special good morning to my um, godfather, uh -huh. um, Kern Somerville. He was on this channel already, I think. Right. Playing pan. Mm -hmm. So you come from a talented family. Yes. Yeah, wonderful. All right, so Alyssa and Zaria Frank, thank you very much, ladies. And I'm going to go back to Zakia now. Um, Kadisha, sorry, I'm mixing up with Zakia. Good morning, Zakia. Kadisha, she's outside. Okay, you must be so proud. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. um, the experience, I, mean, I love working with young children mm -hmm. and getting getting the different um, children with different personalities every year. It's so warming, you know, just getting that hug. Because the setup, um, the, the, the crew is always there with us, much shout out the guys. And you know, you are there like, oh my God, I don't want this to finish. But then you see the turn, you see the smiles, and they come and they give you a hug. Miss, how you're going? I'm like, oh, just, this is what it's all about. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's not just about winning, but it's about having fun. And yeah. two years down the road, you know, someone will call you out, hi, Miss, remember me from the competition? I learned this, and this impacted me this way, and this is what it's all about for me. Wonderful. This is my bragging rights. Wonderful. And I can yeah. change just one student. Yeah. This is my bragging rights. Well, keep doing the work that you guys are doing at the Emancipation Support Committee. And, of course, we'll be showing the quiz here on Sunday. Mommy Frank, thank you so much yes, for coming on. And welcome. congratulations on your two girls there. Thank They're you. They're wonderful. All right, we're going to take in a few messages. Come right back. You're seeing our artist in residence on set, and we can't wait to see what she's working on. And we'll take in a few messages. Come right back after this. <laughs> 